Before we do anything with git, we need to configure it on our command line. Because right now, if we try to do anything with git or github from our command line, it doesn't know who we are, it doesn't know what we do, it doesn't know anything about us. So we are going to need to configure two things. We're going to need to configure our name and our email address. And this is just so that we can sign commits. We'll talk about commits and signing and all that stuff down the road. But basically, every time you write a little piece of code and you put it on GitHub, there's this little signature. It's a hash, actually. And it has an author. And it needs to know who that author is. So for this, we're going to type git config dash dash global. I'll make that just a tad smaller here. And you can see some of my stuff from above showed up. That's OK. User dot name. Quotation, and I'm going to put my name as Caleb Tulling, because that's my name. And then I'm going to type git config dash dash global user dot email. And this is going to be my email address. I put this in quotations as well, and I'm just going to write my email address here. And you can see that I actually wrapped onto another line. That's totally okay. If I made this smaller, it goes back onto one line. So I hit enter, and that's it. Now that email address should ideally match with your GitHub email address. I don't believe it's actually necessary, but it is a better way of doing things if your email addresses all line up. So whatever you signed up for on GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket, make sure you're using that exact same email address. Now we can verify that this worked by typing cat, and that's a tilde, slash dot git config. And if I do tab after the word C-O-N-F, just tab, it'll autocomplete for me. That file should exist. And now we can see we've got a user with a name and an email address. If you do not have this file, that means your git config is not set up. So make sure you have your username and your user email set up, and also make sure you have a git config file on your computer. If you have that all up and running, head on over to the next lesson, and we'll talk about adding an SSH key.